I'm Roy. I'm Yair. And I'm Ollie. And we're the DNMR team. The samples would not spin. This is a sign of dirt on the turbine or in the probe. This happens every few months, so it is time to clean out the magnet ball. Sometimes this problem is accompanied by changed and unstable shimming, indicating loose dirt. We have an unshielded 400 MHz magnet that is 29 years old. The spectrometer console has been replaced and a sample changer retrofitted. These changes make cleaning the bore very complicated. What is shown here is dangerous to you and your equipment. If you try anything you see in this video, then it is at your own risk. Start by switching off the pneumatic dampers so that the magnet rests directly on the floor. The next stage is to remove the sample changer, ensuring that there is no sample in the magnet, and starting with the carousel. Turn off the sample changer by pressing the front switch for several seconds. Turn off the air supply to the sample changer. In our case, the air supply is separate from the console, so it can be shut off independently. Remove the pipes, connectors and power cable from the sample changer. Since the magnet is of an old design, the helium bridge obstructs the removal of the sample changer and has to be taken off. There is a danger of introducing air into the liquid helium can which could freeze and cause a blockage, so we must not leave it open for more than a few seconds, plugging it with paper while it is open. We rely on the constant boil off of helium through the tissue to keep the air out. The sample changer can now be unscrewed and lifted off. To minimize contamination by air, we replace the helium bridge. Before opening the bore, one should remove any magnetic clothing that could conceivably fly into the bore, such as yarmulke clips. They are really difficult to get out and could destroy the magnet if they get in. The next stage is removing the probe, disconnecting the RF cables, gradients, thermocouple and heater, and air connections before taking it away for cleaning. The probe head contains many fragile parts that are extremely costly and time consuming to repair, so we need to take the utmost care. I used gloves to prevent contamination of the probe with finger grease. The ceramic caps and the inner quartz tubes were removed carefully. One of the caps was quite dirty and was cleaned with a cotton bud and ethanol. All the parts were cleansed with ethanol. The inner tube has metal parts that shield the extremities of the sample from excitation. The coils were rinsed with ethanol without touching them. The top of the probe was cleaned. All the parts were air dried. The sensor tube was reassembled. The lower piece of metal inside and the upper part outside, but left close to the top. The ceramic cap will push it into the precise position. The tubes are then returned to the probe head and the ceramic cap placed on top, not forgetting all its three springs. Finally, the can is replaced, orienting it so that the Allen screws can be tightened. Before removing the bore, the spectrometer console must be shut down. Disconnecting the shim coils while they are on, burn out the circuitry. Unscrew and disconnect the shim connectors under the magnet. Loosen the three screws at the top of the stack. Under the magnet, pull the shim coils out. Note that on some systems the coils may fall out, so have someone there to catch them. Here is the dirt on the turbine that is probably preventing spinning. A quick wipe with an ethanol soaked tissue fixes that. To be sure that it is thoroughly clean, we remove and dismantle the turbine. Undo the three screws to detach the turbine from the coils. Loosen the remaining screws at the top to take off the top ring. Older models do not have this, but this turbine has an inner flange. Loosen the three grub screws to remove the flange. Clean all the parts by wiping with a tissue, then immersing in ethanol. Return the flange and tighten the grub screws. Return the outer ring and close the screws and then tighten the spacing screws. Reattach the turbine to the shim coils. Remove the remaining supports for the sample changer while detaching the pipe and connector to the upper stack. Then remove the upper stack. Now that the bore is open, it can be cleaned with a wooden stick 
with the end wrapped in paper and soaked in ethanol. Now it is time to put everything back, starting with the top stack. We attach the sample chamber support and the connections to the upper stack. The shim coils were then reinserted. We removed the helium bridge again and replaced the sample changer before returning the helium bridge to its position. Finally, after replacing the probe, the spectrometer is ready to turn back on and test. To our delight, everything met specs. Hey, if you want to stay updated, please subscribe and get the bell on so that you never miss a video. Press the like button and order NMR services in the link and in the description. <laughs>